what's going on welcome to another fun-filled episode of black opinions matter motherfucker my name is amino hassan i'm joined as always by black trey big jerv and our producer sean got a hell of a lineup for you we're gonna talk about shikari richardson her whole deal what about emmanuel Acho? what he said we're getting into it we're getting deep into that whole conversation we're also going to talk about philadelphia's own bill cosby got released it's it's fuck bill cosby as always and also apparently fuck joe brown more on that later uh raising canes we get into that yeah that's right the chicken place yeah we're gonna talk about can you have a chicken place based on or a restaurant based on just one entree uh obviously i will address the rachel nichols stuff i know a lot of you guys are jumping on right now i'm gonna touch on it to be honest with you the detailed stuff comes Tuesday on Lebetard Show. So check it out there. But I'm also going to touch on it here today to explain some of my thinking. But first, it was America's birthday, July 4th, and we all had shit. But nobody had more shit than Trey for Sean set up. How was, how was uh, your America birthday celebration, Sean? Let's start, let's start with that. Dog, it, yeah. was cool. it was fun, man. We had a good time, bro. The setup was but you cool. Gr- did you grill? You ended up grilling. Yo, so uh, I only had to grill for half the time. So I only. So I got how, off. how much of the how much of the story could we tell the listeners? We can tell the whole thing. We All can right, tell the so, whole way. Yeah. yeah. So me, I'm, me I'm gonna cool. take y'all inside inside the group chat because this nigga Trey, I don't know what happened yesterday, man. But he just decided to be roasted <laughs> the whole goddamn. You no, know, I do that any time though. I no, I, but, but yes, that was that was you were extra yesterday because at some point I was like. I was like, damn. I mean, I that's mean, kind I of a, laughing. You, you know what? He I, I, didn't really get welcome to the chat the right way. So maybe that was a good blessing to make it. He felt like he was too Teflon because he's a producer. No, no. <laughs> I, I, no, no. I get it, man. You know, I'm the new guy. Big Wallace is the OG. So he's sending through $2,000 cracker tables. Nobody says shit. Spreads, all types of shit. Spread, so, yeah. It's that, all good. Wads went to the Hamptons, I think, for, for his uh, July 4th. I don't know. I don't know what is that, but that was the biggest table of crackers I've ever seen. And I, no. and I think that literally. <laughs> and we ain't talking about white people. Literally a table. <laughs> yeah, it's crackers. It was like Ritz, saltines, all of it. All of it, bro. I mean, Rice it crackers. But... Yeah, it was. Yeah, that, like, that shit was crazy. Meats, cheeses, fruits, bro, grapes. So uh, I, I, I've scrolled up. So Sean is talking about he's getting ready. He's having you having a thing at your house. And, yeah. <laughs> Sean says, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip the whole misunderstanding part. I said, man, my girl dad told me he was on the grill. Fired up to be on the grill. Can't wait. He just hit me, said he's sick. Can't make the party. Now I'm on the grill. I'm distraught. <laughs> <laughs> he was begging me in the middle of the week to be on the grill. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'll just buy what we need already done. I don't want to deal with it. He's like, nah, nah, man. We got a grill. Hit me this morning with, I'm sorry, but. I knew off top I was finished. Yo, off so top. I'm laughing. I thought it was a funny story, Trey. This nigga Sean Mad ran them. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, on the fourth of July, talking about a cookout, it was random. Hey, <laughs> no, no, because it was zero context, bro. You just came in hot with the story. Like that's why I was like, yo, that shit was random. It had no lead up. <laughs> Hold on, it gets better. So Sean's like, I've been paid. I had to share. I'm throwing my first party at the new crib. Thought I was gonna be running around socializing. And Trey says, Now you're about to look like Sinbad with an apron on. <laughs> <laughs> Sinbad with an apron on. It's true. It's true. You know, but... So for for Sean is just trying to text through it, man. He's like, I'm t- I'm fried. I had fried, a fire fried. pit and everything. Shows us a picture of the setup. Said setup solid though. Wish at least one of y'all was in the shot. It's nice. Like he's like, oh man, I would have had. No, it was very nice. It was very nice. <laughs> Trey's response: Shit looked like White Claw Drive. <laughs> 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 Basketball jerseys and short shorts. And then here comes Mari with jersey longer than the. Short. <laughs> 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 yeah, look, like a, like, look like a shorty sleeping over. Because I you got can't. tense up. <laughs> Yeah, I had tell you, I had some tents up for the show. I said, "Damn, it's because I got a couple tents up." It's, it's White Claw Drive now. <laughs> you can't win, bro. I would have sent through a pick of nothing oh, and been like, "This weak no, ass man. setup, same shit." <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. So yeah, man, we had a good time though. It was all good. Uh, so, Sean asked, "Is it the decoration in the back?" Mariana said, "It might be the MLB logo." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. White, White Claw yeah. Drive is funny though, for sure. I, I can't lie. That's I predicted crazy. it like the tsunami though, because when you sent the video this morning, it was jerseys and short shorts. It jerseys was great. Short shorts was definitely in there. It was great. It was like like y'all could literally leave there and go to Coachella right after. <laughs> right after we fit right in. Yo, oh, but it was so hot, bro. It was like 90 and humid yesterday. Yo, that's yeah. rules to the, it's rules to the shit, bro. When you taking pictures and uploading them to the internet, uh, never well, upload have... pictures of like videos of fireworks because it never translates right. Never yeah. take pictures of food that you made, and then <laughs> never take pictures of you at a um, sporting event if it's not like dumbass close because it yeah, looks like you're sitting cool. with God. Yeah, always. Like you'll be in the two hundred seats, and it looks like you're sitting oh. with God. And nigga be like, "Ah, oh, nigga, how much you pay for them seats?" You're yeah. like, "Bro, I actually got good seats, but them shits just look terrible." <laughs> All right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. You can't. And when you're at a game, it never looks good unless you're courtside. It just doesn't look good because it just the it's too much in the picture. Unless you, I guess if you got like a nice camera or something that can zoom in or whatever. Like, right. think about if Sean would have sent a plate of a food that he made and it didn't look great, but it probably tastes amazing. Amazing. That yeah. shit never works out that way yeah. when you when you make your own food. If you're not like a chef with yeah. the art and you do the little drizzle on the plate and all that shit, like, it just looks nuts. Somewhere Save your plates. Who, they, remember, hashtag it. struggle plates. Yeah, I'm about to say somewhere there's someone who, who's got a, a a plate of bad mac and cheese and a slice of wonder bread next to it. like see i told you it tastes great bro the macaroni and cheese look like a, a piece of carpet scruffed up oh no <laughs> i'll I tell you the ones that i hate the most trey when it's macaroni and cheese mac and cheese soup it's just oh. swimming I'm like and it's like what is this you just added water 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 and, I, and i'm sure listen i'm sure like the brick of mac that's probably been scooped up right because it's extra mm. cheesy and then you got the yam puddle <laughs> Mm, it's a yam puddle, puddle. Jam puddle. because you mix you know, it all up, the, yeah it's gotta be there and it's never going to translate because somebody's going to slander the fuck out of that shit for a week and you just slept you got the itis off of eating bomb i don't get it I'm hi jerv what up jerv? Yo, what up jerv, how, how is your uh america's birthday how would you what'd you do Bro. fuck america's birthday damn <laughs> nigga came in on violence bro damn okay ice cube <laughs> Yeah, nah. Um, I went to a uh, I went to a, a, a cookout, which Trey uh, definitely let me know there was way too many people with wheelchairs there. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Trey was yo, something was going on yesterday. Trey, first Trey of all, time. Trey had no, Trey had time no, yesterday. No disrespect to no one in wheelchairs. Shout out to people in wheelchairs. Keep going. <laughs> Put that up. But, yeah, um, but nah, like I just I did that. I watched a little bit of fireworks. I ate. I, I basically just recovered, bro. I I, I partied on Friday, so oh, I'm yeah. I'm actually I'm still in recovery mode, bro. I've been out I've been outside a lot lately, but I think I'm about to go back inside because uh I'm not really ready for outside, man. This is it's just too much. It's too much going on right now. There was thrown off by the shorts, by the short shorts, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tell them about your short short experience. Um, so full disclosure, I do have some, uh, some, 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 uh, shorts <laughs> that, 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 that show off the thigh. Um, but, uh, I was a little nervous. I, um, it's just not my thing, but I realized just like when jean shorts went out and it became all about the cargoes and all that shit. Like sometimes you just got to get with the times because you can't be the dude out here with your shorts going to your knees. And then I'm 40. So like, I'm very much conscious of like, not trying to be that old head that's still living in like the fucking 2000s or whatever, because that's nothing worse than that. Like, you know what I mean? I represent my daughter now. So, you know what I mean? I can't have, I can't be out here <laughs> looking like a nut. You know what I'm saying? So I got to be with the times, but respectfully. So, uh, you know, shout out to all y'all, all y'all peoples out there that, you know, that, that's cool with it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making the transition. I just refuse to have uh, my, my thighs out and my toes out. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't yeah, do that. That's a, that's a wild combo. That mean, listen, I mean, you got a white girlfriend. <laughs> Or you didn't grow up <laughs> or, in the same hood, bro, or, with or, us. Or or you man in the grill and you're like someone's uncle, right? Like yeah, that, yeah. That, I mean a, that means oh, yeah, at the no, point. Listen, if you man in the grill, listen, there's you can do what you want, bro. Whatever makes you comfortable when you man in the grill, you got it. 
Yeah, because that's, that's hours. Of, that's hours of service. Yo, the person that took over for me when I only did, I only did half of it yesterday. Yeah, he could. He was. He had the fast pass. Like it was Six Flags. He had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was moving motherfuckers out the way. He could do whatever he wanted. He needs a drink. He's skipping lines, doing were anything. You were escorting. Bro. You were escorting him through the house. If, he, if I if I looked like he had, if he was looking like he had some trouble, I was doing anything he needed. He he hooked it up. He took over. So yeah, he had the fast pass. That's what's up, man. Him. Yeah, you got. I mean, what you what you do on America's yeah. birthday? Hold on, Big before dog. we before we God, jump God to the America, <laughs> what kind of what kind of shorts are we talking about, Jerv? You had the 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 like khaki joints or the what type of? Shorts? Oh yeah, come on, bro. It's uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, I mean, what other kind are there? We we don't do jean shorts anymore. Let's um, honestly, Jerv. You know? I honestly think you should get into the Nike nylon. Crazy, you get you a black pair of Nike nylons, yo. What's, the, what's them Jones? I got swim trunks. Nah, they like they some smooth player shorts, dog. Get you some. Okay. Show the kneecaps, bro. Get you a white tee. You good to go. Yo, I also suggest the the ACG. Uh, they're kind of like a. Oh, see, look, you trying to add extra fifty dollars to niggas' pockets, bro. Yeah, those are tough though. <laughs> well, and show they, show and them they, to that bag, bro. So the extra fifty. You saw that layout. He listen, had. listen, uh, listen he got sponsored. Listen, he got merch right now at home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he got merch for his podcast on right now. Oh my hey, god, hey, that's no catch up. Real, real, real yeah, yeah, rap, bro. No your, your cookout was sponsored, right? Like, because that was a sponsored tent you had. It was all types of logos on that. That shit looked like uh, it had Kingston. draft kings on it. Kingston, bro. Kingston Cole sponsored. Uh, you already know they sent the tent. Uh, no, my day, homie man. had the tents, so I, you know, he he lent it to me, man. So no, nah, ACG I, joints I, are really ACG. You can wear them anytime, anywhere. Draws, no draws, whatever you want to do. Hey, on some real shit though, oh, Sean. Your hey, cook all looked like it had a um, vegetable kebab. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah no, I didn't get... Sean, no. was there was there a casserole there? I feel like you had a casserole on nah, there. No casseroles, G. Hey, I will no say macaroni this. salad. Hey, I will say this. My lady tried to lay out like some flowers set up. So I'm like, you gotta take those down. This is we we not now we doing too much. Flowers at a cookout. Well, nah, that's what yo. I said, bro. I said, yo, you gotta take these down. This is we this, now we th doing this, too much. This ain't no bridal shower. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Fact, like this is a fact, cookout, bro. We fact, just need a table with with exactly. the with the with the meats, chill, and then uh uh um you know some the sides and then like mad coolers with the different beverages. Exactly. Yo, yo before non alcoholic before, um, alcoholic. Yeah, for sure. Before yeah. Amin jumps and shares his answer, I just want to come out really quick and slander coleslaw. That shit is fucking trash. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like trash coleslaw, unless man. it's on barbecue sandwiches. I was gonna say, man, I it's, love a it's coleslaw. Trash thing, bro. I don't like some. No, you don't like it on a sandwich. Uh, I don't. It's fucking mayonnaise and onions and shit just chopped up. Like I don't want that it's crunch. I like the crunch, bro. Fuck. With the when I get yourself like a, put some chips on your burger, you'll get all the crunch you want. I chose violence this weekend because a young man got a sponsorship from Raising Canes, and I told him to swap out his coleslaw for an extra toast. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I want better for him. And everybody's like, I'm, even Jade came through, like, yo, I know you're not slandering coleslaw. Oh, like wow. drawing the line for coleslaw, which I think is the very white well, con, like a white side. As as a side, yes, yes. I don't like. Uh, yeah, I I would get extra toast too. I've never. I've, I think I've been to Raising Kings once in my life. Uh, I don't. It's that, overhyped. That toast it's, is I mean, tough. It's, it's that, chicken strips, it, though, right? It may like, be, yeah, yeah, it is chicken yeah. strips, and it yeah. may be overhyped, but that toast is real. That shit is. Is fire. that? Oh no, it's it's it's. Listen, it's softer than the new pillow you getting at a fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. is, is that? Is that too is that too niche for a restaurant to be like all we do is chicken tenders? Apparently like, not. I mean, I'm just like I'm just thinking like yo, they how, owned it. They other? owned it. I mean, at this point, it's it's just the it's it's like a cookout Wait, there's, there's a restaurant that only does that only does chicken, chicken tenders, bro. Chicken tenders. Okay. Yeah. So let me let, I got questions. Like, I mean, I got flip like I mean, is it like one of those joints where it's like 50, 50 flavors of chicken tenders, or they got nah. like four? Oh, nah, God. they have their they have their brand. Specific taste. They don't. They don't even with have a four, with sir. a dipping sauce, and then they, have they don't even have yeah. four. No. Nah. So you want to tell me? I go to this restaurant. There's no reason. So you can actually look a real player. Me. Yeah, you can look real player if you take a shorty to this restaurant, right? Because you just want to order it. what she wants. I don't. I don't think it's no. real player because it's in. <laughs> it's on the same line as Chick Fil A. It's fast food. Yeah. Yeah. It's fast, it's food. fast food, bro. I mean, I guess. Um, let, first of all, first of all, first of all, let's not oh, let's not make yeah. it seem like fast food is not a no, nice place to take a young lady. I'll take that back. Uh, it, it all depends. But it's levels it all depends to the date. Yeah, like if I was in high school, 
Definitely raising. I'm taking her to raising canes. Raising sure. canes, your high school is definitely Arnold Palmer. Cool. Me, half yeah, lemonade, yeah, yeah. half tea. Yeah, half iced tea. Uh, yeah. Quick, quick question: Are we, are we, uh, are we? We're still on. We're, we're cool with Chick Fil A, right? Like we, we still eat Chick Fil A, or we, we still off? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cool with them, but I still eat it. Yes. Okay. Because okay. I, yeah, I, I wanted to tell you we're not about to have no Chick Fil A slander, but I feel like we're allowed to slander. Oh, Chick-fil-A. no, we're I'm, slander I'm slandering them until they okay. start until they open on Sundays. All right. Anyways, no, I, I don't, I don't care what what day they're open. I, I'm signing them until they stop being, uh, you know, uh, the LGBT against, community. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. But 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 I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna be slandering them with this Polynesian sauce dripping out the sandwich. Hey, hey yo, that's the best sauce to pick, bro. I, I got into a heated debate with somebody this weekend because they said, "Yo, what sauce do you get when you go to Chick Fil A?" And I said, "There's only one to get: the Polynesian yeah, sauce." Polynesian. They want to no, you gotta get the Chick fil A. So I'm like, I don't I'm want cool. no Chick fil A sauce. I, I had no I Jerf, real talk. It wasn't until like two years ago that I even knew Chick fil A sauce existed. I thought people were saying that because they didn't know what Polynesian was. They're like, Yeah, Bro. Polynesian. Like, no, there's something Bro. else called Chick fil A sauce. Chick- so I tried it. Listen, what's it like French I mean, dressing? It's like it's like the big man I mean, secret sauce. Chick fil A sauce is the yeah. yellow starburst of sauces at their bucket <laughs> at their place. It's the yellow starburst. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bro, man. watch out. I'm cool. Yo, you, yo their, their honey mustard is tr- – I love honey mustard. Their honey mustard is trash. Honey like mustard it. is trash, yeah. too. What I, That's what I do. I, I get Polynesian, and then I'll get the hot sauce packets. And sometimes I'll pour the hot sauce into the Polynesian, mm. mix it up, and it gives a little okay, kick. Okay, sauce that's lord. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yo, so shout out to everybody crazy. that gets the two sauces. Because I, I started it with McDonald's. My my, my go-to was the barbecue and the sweet and sour. You know, it was the shit was the uh was the barbecue and the sweet and sour, and I used to do the dip, know, dip. You know what I'm saying? Like that was my yeah. thing. And then I took that over to Chick Fil A, like Amin said. But I do I don't pour the sauce, and I just do the dip, dip. Amin, shameless, should, uh, shameless Amin plug. Should. Put put the dip, dip on the spicy chicken sandwich. All right, Yo, watch, hey. jerk, jerk. watch. In like six months, that'll be in a, a McDonald's commercial. I could I could a check. Um, I mean, so what did you do for the fourth, bro? No, man, I was I was by the pool, I was drinking, bro. Hey, phone phone off unbothered. I love it. Yo, oh oh, yeah, that's oh yeah, yeah. Because I started I started my day. I had radio in the morning and from seven to ten. And while I'm doing radio, the New York Times thing comes out and all these People start tweeting and texting me about like Rachel and shit. You know, me Rachel's my friend, and, and if you take anything away from from this, and and I'm gonna get more, way more detail. It's a very nuanced conversation. You got to know kind of the characters at play here. And I'm not talking about Rachel and Marie. I'm talking about like ESPN, pretty much. But I'll so get into good. all of that. Yeah, I'll get into all of that on on Lebetard Show on Tuesday, July six. Uh, if you want to catch it live, it's gonna be on YouTube. If you want to catch a replay or whatever, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be, it'll be on, on the podcast, the Levitar Show podcast. But this is all I'm gonna say for right here for Bomb because I want this to be perfectly clear to everybody. I had like people hit me like, "Oh, you didn't have to say," or not hit me. People were tweeting me, "Oh, you didn't have to say anything," or like with memes and gifs and shit like that. And I'm like, "Nah, man." Like I responded to one of the person that I'm acquainted with. Like, yo, no, this is this is my friend. I'm the type of person that I will stick up for my friends. Um, and I, I, I'm aware that it's going to be a quote-unquote bad look. But to me, like, if I want to look cool for Twitter and sell my people out, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. All these people saying, oh, he hates black women. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went left real quick. Yeah, yeah my, it's my, just my like, group chats went left too as soon as you tweeted. Of just course, to, just to of, let you of know. Course, of course, but Jerv, like, here's the thing: like, I know in my heart of hearts, it's not a bunch of people who are like, um, "Oh man, I rock with you," right? It's the people who don't like me already. Yeah, you already. It was it was shitless and wait on you to. Trip I'm not anyway, losing so, people. Yeah. I'm yeah. just like the people who wanted to fucking wanted to have double a down. Parade. They want to have a parade on a mean street. They had a parade on a mean street. So I'm like, I don't care. My thing is, if I know you, though, and like we've had private communications, either via text or DM or whatever in the past, you have a problem or you don't understand, you can reach out. But I saw a lot of people who have all those avenues available to them 
making like wise ass remarks and not for the jokes, but literally just to paint me as someone who's like caping for white women, or whatever. Like, I didn't, <laughs> this is my friend. Like, I'm just supposed to like, I'm not. This isn't a. Uh, I, I'm not sticking up for the entire race or whatever, or, or every single one. I'm for this particular person that I know personally. And also, you're entitled to your own opinion. I'm entitled, but that's that, that's that's beside the point. We're all entitled to our point, opinion, but like I, I just want to make it clear to people, like if you're the type of person who's like, yeah, I would have just shut the fuck up. You ain't, to me, you're not a good fucking friend. Yeah. Right. You're not a good friend, and. and if you don't have people who will stick up for you in those moments, then guess what? You don't have friends either. You got people who are cool when things are cool. When things are not, they, they fucking distance themselves. And, you know, Rachel caught a lot of heat yesterday. And, you know, I, I don't know if I got all the heat off of her, but I got some of Because, again, that's my friend. And that's someone who's fought for me and done things. And I'm not going to fucking sell people out just because. Now, I, I'm cool with Maria. I think Maria's awesome. I don't, I'm not here to tell oh, Maria shouldn't have that job. Obviously, she does great at that job. I, this is not about Maria to me. To me, this is about ESPN and Rachel and, um, you know, what happened to her, which was, you got, she got taped in her hotel room. And before you get to anything else, you got to ask yourself, do we not have a right to privacy? Like someone can just turn on a camera in my room, which is what happens. Not, she didn't forget to turn it off. They can flip it on. That part they kind of conveniently left out of the story. They can flip it on. I've had this conversation before with my with my shit. They're like literally, yo, just leave it and we'll flip it on. You know, uh, when when you're or when we're ready over here. So th there's that. There's the fact that her conversation was a lot more nuanced than just, I can't believe the black lady got the job. That's not what she said. But again, people want to take it a certain way. That's cool. That's for the masses. But if I know you I'm people, <laughs> but, hey, but no, 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 no. But I'm but, saying but, people but have to understand just... our relationship too. like where I'm not like, hey, fuck you. I mean, for saying that. Bro. Right. Like, and that's, and my, that's my thing. It's like Trey, Trey has his opinion. And I'm not like gonna be. I'm not fifty. I'm not gonna be like Trey. You gotta ride out with me no matter what, right? But Trey, if you have an opinion, I'm here. You have multiple ways of communicating with me. Now, Trey right. didn't say shit to me, like just basically like just smooth ignored me and that. But then on Twitter, want to be like the ringly. Want to be like uh, Mel Gibson and Braveheart. Like to me, that says something about you as a person. It does. And more, more on this, and more nuance on Tuesday with Levitard show. But yeah, so I Find did my thing. I said, I said my shits, my two or three tweets, and I'm like, I'm good. I have mad people text me like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "I'm fucking great. Why wouldn't I be gr okay?" <laughs> <laughs> because hey. fucking nerds on Twitter are like doing memes of black Superman carrying a white woman. Like, oh my! Like, I laughed. To be honest with you. A lot of the memes were funny. Can you can you send some to the group chat so we can see? Yeah, do I don't want to see them now, but I'm just talking about in general moving oh. forward. Uh -oh. But oh, long story I, short, I, I, I can send some that I received also, just so everyone's on the same. Yeah. Page. No, but <laughs> I'm just some, saying. At the end of the day, this is the only thing I want to say. I mean, is that no matter how strongly you feel about something, no matter how strongly Sean feels about something, no matter how strongly Jer feels about something, no, at I the end of the day, know. that's your. Oh, uh, you said what? Jerv don't count. He has terrible opinions. Oh, like, he, I mean, that's, that's Y'all niggas, niggas just got y'all niggas got bad taste. That's all that is, bro. Like, I'm <laughs> but just long long it. story short, I would never text you to change your mind. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I think that well, and I think that's where we that's that's where our relationship was. And it, it was funny because Jerv hit me like, "Yo, they trying to turn you on a mean." I'm like, "No," because at the end of the day, that's his opinion. I'm not gonna text the nigga and say, "Yo, delete that." No. no, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Yeah, not not that. But but like my thing is like if you're like, damn, I mean, how could you say that? That's like, different. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, I say but, but like your but your relationship is people. way closer to that person than anyone right. else. So I don't I expect right. that answer versus someone on the outside, and then honestly right. only getting at that point. So my whole I, thing like, was was like I'm just looking at it from the outside, you know what I mean? But I right. also know you too, and like again, I think. Right. Context is very, like, a serious thing, and people read between. They skip the line. So I'll be, um, I'll be honest with you. Like, if 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 it weren't Rachel, if I'm trying to 
pick a random other person who I know through the industry, but I don't know that well. Like, um, if it were, uh, man, like, let, well, Lindsay Zarniak, for instance, or or Wendy. I don't, Nick, I don't know who that is, but shouts to her. Yeah, they're all like these, you know, <laughs> white white sports center anchors, basically. Okay, right. I I know them like I see or Hannah Storm, for instance. Like I know Hannah because I've done Sports Center with her. I know Hannah because I run into her in the cafe. I know Hannah because she's tweeted me. I tweeted her back. But like, if this happened to Hannah Storm, I wouldn't be like, "No, Hannah's great." Because like, I'm like, I know you, but I'm not. You know, like we're not best friends to the point where I'm going to unequivocally make this comment about someone that I've only known in work settings. Yeah. But like, I, I, me and Rachel talk so much over the years about all types of shit life family work like this is a my a, a very close friend to me so i want like all my friends to know yo i will write out for all of y'all and by the way part of I why I wrote for you before yeah i know i know i know it's, it's cool and jerk too and jerk yeah, too i mean i mean like i said when it when it's close to when it's close to the situation different things there's but, just layers but, to it. But that's but that's but that's you guys, that's a great example. Because you guys have had to ride out for me for people saying that I'm what? What are some things that people said? You're Corny, an asshole. You, you're asshole. like, oh, I hear all types of shit. And I'm like, what else? What else? You, know, cool you look like song. Kramer. <laughs> okay, I, I do <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but people jeans. no, but people have said things that aren't true. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, as far as... You're like, so like you guys know me. And so when your friends say shit like, you know, whatever, whatever, I, whatever it is, I look like Kramer can't save that one, right? I hope you don't ride out on that one because that's a, a losing cause. But No, nah, it was just funny. Like, was just but yeah, it's funny though. But but like some of the shit um, <laughs> that I do say, you guys say, no, no, that's not true. He's not like that. How do you, why do you do that? Because I'm, I'm your friend? Well, yeah, but also because you know it's not true. And if I wasn't your friend, maybe you'd be like, yeah, I don't think it's true, but it ain't my fucking business, right? Yeah. You you, you do it partly because we're, we're close, but also partly because you know it's not true. And even if it may appear a certain way. And I, that's, that's my whole thing. I, I know it doesn't, like, especially if you're not paying attention, especially if you're reading Cliff Notes, it doesn't sound great for Rachel. It doesn't look great for Rachel. Find but, out more on Levitard. Find out more on other times. The, the only right. time I the only the only time I don't write out for a mean is if I had just texted him and he doesn't respond, and then yeah. like someone says something, I'm just then I'm just like yeah fuck that nigga dog like Yo, he this, doesn't even respond to my text. Deserves, <laughs> all he does is fucking shit talk me in my DMs about anything I post, anything I I'll be posting like I'm like oh man it was a beautiful day like that shit look trash like oh what <laughs> that's perfect bro that's that's yeah. that's what it is you know i'm shit talk all you motherfuckers yo real quick trey before you take off um i think you always gotta there's been times where i've rocked for my friends in public and then on the background been like yo what the fuck are you doing bro what are you talking about like right. you gotta chill on that so you can have that conversation too it's definitely levels but yeah uh i mean like you said bro if you don't have people vouching for you when you need some vouching then you don't really have homies like that Right, like I was, that's my thing. Yeah. It's like that's, and it's not, you know, it, it it's not about like, like, like we black men always doing it for white women. So I'm like, so y'all only ride out for certain friends, right? Like it just to me, like yo, you're a shitty friend. Is is what I'm saying, right? And that doesn't that doesn't make me not again. Stop or, telling or me to tell a mean to delete shit because it ain't gonna happen. He's stubborn yeah. and he gonna no, think but, what he want to do. <laughs> but, but also, Trey, like deleting shit to me is like, it's not it's about. Well, oh, it's it, the it's Patrick Beverly apology. Yes, it's like, oh, let me get this heat off of me. Yeah, yeah. that shit was a weak ass apology too, by the way. My no, but I'm just, like, I'm just saying. At the end of the day, you think for yourself, you do what you want, and that's it. But that's, that's, that's our. That, but stand again, by you, words. but you right. still my nigga, even if you whatever you choose to say. So 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 to solidify, I'm pretty sure people are gonna listen to this and say, you know, it means this, it means that to solidify like I'm a piece of shit on all levels. Let's talk about Bill Cosby now. <laughs> Bill hey, his own. <laughs> fuck that nigga, bro. And look, fuck that nigga. I don't, I don't know if it I don't know if it's considered double cooning because <laughs> <laughs> yo niggas they got called coon for like shit though. For the, the craziest thing what I've been thinking about all week when he got out was Hannibal Burris. 
Because I was like, damn, is he going to circle the block and, and like, take his food away? There go that nigga right there. That was the nigga that was, <laughs> that was, the nigga that was talking all that shit in this. And I'm going to take all his, you know what I mean? Like, And those are the choices yeah. that you have to make. Because I'm pretty sure he yeah. thought Bill Cosby was never getting out. But no, I mean, here's the thing. But like that, my, my one of my homies who works in the industry said this. He was like, <laughs> "Being afraid of Bill Cosby is funny." <laughs> I mean, yeah. they, no, not physical. Like he, no, has, I, 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 know. I know what you mean. I'm just saying, oh, like okay. he's, he's a seventy something year old man. Like just the thought of, hey. I get what you're saying because hey. he has power. That's sir, what I'm sir. saying. All he needs is this muscle right here to work. <laughs> <laughs> right here. That's no, all it yeah, that's all it take. <laughs> Can, can I can I can I say before we get too serious with this, I the only the one oh, thing I the one thing I, I like I, I know we're not getting serious, but like that that meme that popped back up or that video of him when he was walking in when he was like when he was doing all that shit. I'm sorry, I, that shit was funny to me. I, I like I I gotta laugh at that. That was the only that was the only positive I took from that whole situation. I, I have a whole folder of that I just call problematic memes. Like, I can't, like, just can't use them. Bossa Nova. And we're black. We're black. But yes, <laughs> Bill, Cosby. Bill Cosby walking from the courthouse doing Bill Cosby shit from the intro to the Cosby show. Next level. Um, also, all the memes about R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, being <laughs> mad that he got out. <laughs> no, the um, the pawn shop shit was hilarious when they was talking about like, yo, we just wanted you to what free about Britney, Britney? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like the best we could do was free Bill Cosby. Sick man. Um, yeah. it's still the, fuck the Bill R. Cosby R. for me. Squidward looking out the window. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> It's still fuck Bill Cosby for me, just because his opinion on 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 young black people back in the day, and sagging pants. This is separated from the situation, but then also, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist. I don't think that these women were hired actors, actress, or anything like that to shut my man down because he was going by a network, or any of those type of thoughts. Um, I will say he's on record. For, you know, was it Quaaludes? Yeah, Quaaludes yeah. and drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, <laughs> that's a sick ass <laughs> meme. That's crazy. No, but not, but but in all, in all honesty, though, like he's on record saying he's done these things, and you know, um, he he's going to have to deal with whatever consequences it is. <laughs> In 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 the situation of that, but you know it, it sucks um, from a victim standpoint, and you know uh, I I guess so you know a woman in this world and and, and what's happening. So um, interesting, like to say the least. You know what I mean? What's you the got double one, coon part? What's the second coon part? Yeah, I mean, well, no, I'm just saying the double coon part of like you know people saying I mean was doing that and then um, the double coon was uh, talking about uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, I thought you were talking about no, Judge Joe Brown because he definitely Oh, he was definitely what Judge, 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 what do you do? Judge Joe Brown just said pretty much like it was an era and you know it was okay and, and, and basically women shouldn't be complaining about I shit should, from the I past. Go, I'm going to go get that clip. He, he had a very much a, um, let me say this the right way because I don't want to make it sound like I'm back. In I it. do not yeah, fuck yeah, with Judge Joe Brown. No, I don't fuck with Joe Brown. He had very much a barber shop conversation on fucking national television and if you haven't peeped it yet shameless plug go to uh bnc's youtube page and look at the uh the, the full interview with mark lamont hill uh because uh mark was even taken aback by the shit and mark was just like yo looking like yo, what the fuck is this? like i can't just, believe this motherfucker yeah, saying yo, this shit. But you know what man like here's the thing like a lot of these old people man they don't go fucking no more man like police yeah. rashad Oh, Joe Brown gives two fucks about nothing right now. He, yeah, he's okay, probably like, like, like he's like I got three years left, probably maybe five. Felicia Rashad, yeah, well, she, was, she, was, she fell on a she fell on a sword for real. Bill. But it's just like it's it's like, but he got out on the technicality. That that was my thing. It's like you can't be like, see, I told you he didn't do it. <laughs> Is she didn't even educate herself on like the circumstances? But, but that's an, that's anybody though. That's anybody right now. And I'm like, I understand how. The Cosby Show was important to a lot of black people growing up, yeah. 
But again, as much as I tease Jerv about Hove, Cosby is not my fictional dad. You know what I'm saying? Just entertainment at the particular time. And I think that it's just so weird of the connection of someone that they don't personally know that they're ready to die for. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ride and die right. for. You know what I mean? A complete yeah. stranger. I understand seeing, listen, they're, they're, I, I, I'm, I understand the whole the whole thing of like a black man being put on trial or whatever, the same thing how we've dealt with Mike Tyson and OJ Simpson in the nineties. And now for this particular situation, it, I don't think most people do shit and we have to accept that, that people do bad. Our our people do bad shit too. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got that Brown clip whenever you want me to run it too. Please run it now. Real quick. Before before you run, I just want to say one thing. The shit about Cosby that he shares with OJ in particular is that these were motherfuckers that were shitting on black people for a while. For a while, and then when the bro. shit yeah. when the shit hits the fan, now they want black support. That to me is the big difference. But uh, well, yeah, let's listen to Judge. I mean, we're we're a forgiving culture. I, it sucks, but it's true. Is that are they are they going to? We're not talking about Bill Cosby. I'm saying we forgot what that term meant: sex, drugs, rock and roll. The bimbos come to the party. <laughs> they hang out. They get drunk. They snort lines of blow, and they have a good time. Uh, they use the hall closets to give head, the bathrooms to get down, and you go in to get your coat off of the bed, and they're laying on top of it doing somebody. See, that's what that's about. So, yeah, but, I mean, but, but not it, has be, it has to be consensual, though. 30, 40, 50 years after something was in big-time style, when this stuff started out, the sexual revolution was going on. And a lot of women well, got so, into so they're, they're, it deeply. Yeah, you know, Mark's face. <laughs> oh my god. His face is all our face though at the end of the day. Oh like my, that's a wild know, excuse. He he didn't even he couldn't even muster like an outrage reaction or rebuttal. He was just like, is this nigga really saying this shit on TV right on now? I TV, thought right. it was funny. I thought you guys were saying he did like an Instagram live. No, he bro. Like, no, no, bro. He's this, getting that off on TV. But it's a TV. lot of it's a lot of people that think like that. That's fucking sad. Wow, man. I really just, the biggest thing for me is all the people that could bag a lot of uh, shorties seems like they should be able to do it fairly easily are drugging are shorties. Ones, and then I don't know what the, what is going on here. Are the ones doing like, the most, right? Yeah. It's like, I don't fucking understand. Like, and what, what is appealing about fucking with a shorty that's all drugged up? Passed out. That's passed out. Yeah. I don't understand that. That I, shit like, is rude. It's like, it's, a that, mess. it's like rude. a sickness, that's, bro. Once that's one step away from necrophilia, right? Yeah, like bro, you that I like, I like fucking dead people. Yeah, it's I don't oh. understand, bro. It's a sickness, man. It's definitely um, a sickness. so I'm gonna triple down and say fuck Bill Cosby. So yeah, it's that it's definitely fuck Bill Cosby. It's definitely fuck um uh, uh Judge Joe Brown. Um, I am I crazy because I I like I understood what he meant though, but like it's it's wrong. But I understood what he meant. No, because you're, no, you're, so <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong because you're a listen, father. Saw everybody's no, no, no. Here's the thing. You're a father, so I want you to understand before you say this and put this out in the universe. Really think about it first. No, he's because no, what he could, I know, no, I, I, no, I know what I he's trying to say, me. but he's just yeah. saying like let's, that's again of like saying sure no, no. I'm saying, I, but no, Jer, I want you to scare me, Jer, because I want you to understand this because how Joe, how Joe Brown thinks and how he says that is just kind of saying like. Oh well, she dressed like that, so she's 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 asking oh, yeah, to nah, be touched nah, like that, nah, 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 and nah. that is absolutely fucking wrong. Yeah, no, it, no, for sure. I just meant like, yeah. yo, like I got what he was saying, being that whatever era that was, it was a wild time, and all that type shit was going on. It doesn't make it right, right? right. That shit's wrong. You know, it's it's kind of like when we were on a much lower, lower level, but when we used to use the word gay as a negative, like. Like we all we did we all grew up doing it now because we've grown older and also because times have changed we realized oh that's just wrong man you shouldn't be doing that right but like you understand yeah. the context under which it was done not ab- absolving we should have never done that shit but it was literally being done oh uh, yes, now I'm du- now I now I've double coon Trey there it is like this man said this and that like Trey said we're a forgiving culture say like, are they gonna forgive me though Trey. Are they gonna forgive me? Yeah, yeah. You got some mean apologists. I tell you why. 
they'll forgive me because in a week they'll be mad about something else and they'll forget. It's not like it's, I'm like no, someone trying to call me Terry Crews. Like, Terry Crews does this shit all the time, though. Like, uh, th- th- this is my my one. Not, time. Not, not, you, know, you know who you know who Terry Crews did though? Nigerian bro. I was off him. Uh, I think his name is Emmanuel Acho. Acho. Uh, Acho. Emmanuel Acho. Acho. Yeah. I can't fuck well, with bro. He's, the happened? Shikari. The Shikari situation oh, about the weed, about right? Shikari. Yeah. Let's talk about Shikari. What? It, what? Oh, when he said like, <laughs> you get high with the javelin, javelin shit. Yeah. Like, bro, what are you fucking talking about? And then I like yeah. dove a little bit more deep on it, and I see he went on Kimmel, and he's talking about how he learned about black culture playing football. You're Nigerian, oh, bro. Like, yes, bro. Like, that he's was from the most, Texas. But it's, it's, just, it's just the, it's it's the, the most... principle. The principal thing about like the most beautiful thing you can say about being Nigerian was like. No, he didn't highlight any of the positives of being, right. you know, his nationality. Right. And he's like, oh, I went to a, you know, a white school and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, right. stop trying to impress these people, bro, that that don't really matter. Trey called him baby Whitlock. <laughs> now, you know, okay, here's the thing. Like, he's like sl- Slim Emmanuel, Whitlock. Slim Whitlock. Emmanuel, That's what it was. Emmanuel, he's from, he's from Texas, right? And like, I don't know if you know this. Shout out to all my Nigerian brothers and sisters. Nigel, what's up? Beautiful people. Texas is like Texas is like little Nigeria. Like if you throw a rock, you won't hit a Nigerian person somewhere. Like all these, all like think about like Shanae. Uh they, like like uh every single Nigerian you know has some family type. Oh, fuck, we were talking about it with Dan Perlman a couple weeks ago. Flatbush misdemeanors. Uh his uh his co is Kevin. Kevin is Nigerian from Houston, right? Now, ain't nobody watching that show said that that nigga ain't black, right? No one says that, right? Because what? Because it's like, it don't matter what school you went to. I'm like, it was hard for me to understand a, re- a reality where this dude is somewhere where there's mad Nigerian people and he comes from a Nigerian family. Like, I know at least your parents would have been, yeah, like pumping that stuff behind the scenes, even if you go to school and all you saw were white people. Yeah. So it's a, it is a weird thing, but you know, Again, Emmanuel's a guy that I know. We're not best friends or anything. So, like, I'm not going to say, no, that's not true. We're going to like, oh, hang out with him. I'm just, listen, I'm right? just, I'm just, I'm just seeing what he put out. The Shikari thing is like, I thought it was a joke. I, I was laughing. And I mean, I and, and, no. and here's the thing. Here's the layers, right? I, I, I get it. Every time we have these type of conversations, whether it's the situation that you're involved in, whether it was the you know Bill Cosby situation, and now this one, it's either let's start our own Olympics. It's a uh, a situation that's targeted against black people, right? And I get that because our brains kind of go off and we create these different situations. Right. But I also sympathize, and like again, she owned up to it. Right. Shouts to her owning up to it. Like, right. look. And you can't tell anyone how to feel mm-hmm. when they're dealing with something. You get what right. I'm saying? So you can't say, oh, if my mom died, I would have, I mean, that, you know, I would have reacted this way. Have you ever lost a parent? Have you ever dealt with pressure of even, being and even if you have, representing even the even country? If, okay, even if you have, even if you've been through the exact same thing, yeah. a loss of parent and pressure of representing a country, everybody deals with shit differently, right? Yes. So I don't blame her for doing what she did. And like you said, she did it and she accepted the, the consequences. She's like, yeah, that shit happened. It fucking sucks, but oh well. And that's kind of my thing. It's like kind of like what I said. People are gonna be upset about what I said, but like, but I knew what I knew what the consequences could be. Yeah, I like did it anyway, because I felt like, yo, this is the right thing to do. Right. And so, but like my thing is, is it dumb that weed is a banned substance? I think so. I think so. But y'all can't I, I agree. Y'all can't start having a conversation now. Where you been this whole time? I know that for me, with regards to the NBA, for years I've been talking about why is this on the list? Why is this on the list? Get rid of it. Like all it does is it makes everybody look bad, right? right. You got players getting caught and get suspended. You got a league that's saying, oh shit, we got to suspend somebody. Or we could just not test for it and we'll never even care. Because guess what? These people give a shit about their jobs, believe it or not. No matter how high they get, they're not showing up to go play the fucking Lakers high as fuck. She's not going to show up. They're acting like Shikari out there at the starting block, fucking lighting a blunt, 
blowing it out and then fucking running like <laughs> yeah what, what my, my, my this time? is my problem this is my problem about it i mean and i understand people have to do their jobs but when something happens to a black athlete right you're put on this space which it's their job to talk and you have to be asked these questions yeah. but now you're in the cr critique under white journalism that breaks us down right what? or goes into a situation like it was one one lady uh named claire and she says oh her hair and this and that and that might be laid to steroids what, what? the fuck are you talking about yeah, like but i'm just that she, she was, was trying, trying to call out some shit up for we sure. no, always call, call out the dumb shit we can call out people who have agendas that have nothing to do not making a point they're making an agenda we can always call that out but like if you mad that marijuana is on the banned substance list then stay mad about it. Right. Don't like next week. Let's move up. Now, next, now we fucking Shikari is done. Yeah. It's Rachel Nichols week now. Like all the outrage about Shikari, nobody gives a next. Then, oh, yeah. It's just like that's, we're always going to move on to the next thing. And that's, that's my biggest problem with internet culture. It's like there are people who give a shit about some of these things. There that are, are fighting the fights shit. off, right. offline. Yeah. There are people who give a shit like, you know, uh, about domestic abuse. And are, you know, like you said, find the fights offline, find the fights continuously and find the fights at the place where the conflict is the hottest, yeah. not on some mild ass shit over here, but like on the real like nexus of this shit. Right. And then there's a bunch of people who are like, because they want a virtue signal. They want you to, I, I'm, I, I also think domestic violence is bad. So I'm just jump on here. Say I can't believe that. Da, 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 da. And then next week we move on to something else. Like all the domestic violence energy is gone. Again, I'm not for domestic violence. Obviously, I think it's terrible. But don't be leading the parade today and tomorrow try to lead it. Like, and I'm not saying you can only stick to one issue. But you know in your heart of hearts if you're actually doing anything for the issue or are you just performing for the cameras and for, for, right. for social media. Yeah, but again, fuck all that on the... Uh, Breaking us down on that national platform Yo, I, because because that yeah. shit goes away from actual journalism. You feel me? Like oh, yeah. for one, listen, she shouldn't have been. Obviously, weed is legal in Oregon she but during the trials. She should have done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, the, you agent, the, agent, like, the, the agent, the agent, like the agent shouldn't have. The agent shouldn't have yeah. had her do the interview. Should have you know kind of skipped that and let her do her thing. Um, like I can say it's tons of red flags in that situation. She's a she's a stand up woman. She took it on the chin. She going to come back and be the world champ. You know what I'm saying? And do her thing. Let's move forward. But you know, again, you know what I learned, I just ain't I learned, fucking with, I just ain't fucking with people breaking down us on a platform. Yeah. You feel me? Like I'm, 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 I'm always going to step in on that. Cause we ain't bullying us. I'm, I'm, we're not, we're not, not with an agenda. Like I, I'm like, yo, you, you're not, you're not making points. You're making an agenda. Get out of here with that. But, uh, you know, the one thing I learned out of all of this though, Flojo's record still stands. Because there's like, like, oh, she had a chance to break. I was like, Flojo's record is still there? Think about like, on the Flojo. men's side. This should be breaking every Olympics and shit. Well, now that yeah. you're saying that, we'll see. But we're, I'm, I'm, uh, I I'm thinking to myself like, yo, Flojo's record was set in 88? Bro, it's 30 plus years later. Ain't nobody Gosh. running that fast? Rest in peace to the goat. Rest in peace, Flojo. The goat, truly. I mean, like that's that's when we're like, I don't think there should be an argument there, right? Like, yeah. If you do some yeah. shit that literally, they can, no one can, like the the marquee event, the event. I mean, that's the number one event at the Olympics, right? Is there an event that's more special than the hundred meters? Not for me. Nah. Yeah. Nah. So like, she broke the record, and it still stands to this day. Yo, shout out to Flojo, man. You got yeah, it. man. With technology you the, you and Olympian. all that stuff. Yeah, yep. man. With all the training, the nutrition. Spikes and training, nutrition, all that. And that Sleep still stands. Shit, fucking mass, the altitude training, all that shit they got. They still can't run as fast as yeah. she probably was doing that shit off a of swig of E and J. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, a, and a pull off the black and mild. You feel me? And a pull off the fucking black and measy, dog, for sure. Yeah. Um, I just want to shout out Compton Fire Department. You know what I'm saying? Fighting the people, yeah, putting out them fires and shit in my hood and just always being on call. And um, who, what else I wanted to shout out before we jump out of here? 
I no, can't sorry, even you think can't, right now. You can't, you can't be you can't be trying out the fire department because that means you hate black people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hey, go ahead, Jerk. I was going to say, speaking of uh, black people, shout out to everybody that laid hands on those uh, <clears throat> those clowns that uh, decided to make Philly look like fucking Alabama and or whatever down south place over fucking. What happened? Uh, it was uh, a white supremacy group just uh, so oh. they had a random ass march in Philly. I think it was like Friday or Saturday or some shit like that. And uh, they found out quickly that like. We not really that we not really that type of place that that shit just fly like it's a lot of niggas with hands in Philly. Y'all really bull. <laughs> this nigga but they they, <laughs> they, they they allegedly had uh them them motherfuckers were smart though they had um uh smoke bombs to plan a escape like some fucking Marvel comic shit shit's wild bro you gotta look that shit up it's wild but shot them people out that just laid hands on them dudes and let them know that this wasn't the spot for that. I gotta look that up for sure. Yo, uh, real quick, again, thank you for being a Patreon. If you are a Patreon, if you're not a Patreon, what are you waiting for? Patreon.com slash count the dings. That's where you, you get the overflow episodes like the one we had last week, remembering uh, the 25th anniversary of Reasonable Doubt and the 12th anniversary of the passing of Michael Jackson. Also, we have the Cinephobe special edition episodes. We dropped another one on Monday, July 4th. It's The Goods. It's written, uh, excuse me, directed by Neil Brennan. It was produced by Adam McKay. And we, obviously we had a great conversation with those guys a month ago, but we actually did an episode on it as well. So check that out if you're a Patreon exclusive, our July 4th episode. And as always, thank you for supporting. This has been Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name is Amino Hassan. That's John Gervais. That's Black Trey. That's Big Sean, the producer. Peace out. Stay black, motherfuckers.